Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome back to another video where today we're going to review a new product. We've got a hobby box of 2023 Topps Big League Baseball. Now the price point on these, you can get them off the Topps website for $50, which is, as you guys probably know, incredibly cheap for a hobby box. Um, and that's because, well, we'll get to that in a second, but you can also find them on uh, other websites for around like 55 to 60 uh, bucks. I can't remember what I got this one for, but I pre-ordered it about a week or two ago. Um, so yeah, we're going to review this product today, a little bit about it. Um, the base set is 310 cards. Uh, each hobby box, you're going to get around 18 base uncommon foils and then one base rare blue foil. In total, about 18 inserts. You're going to get one scratch off. As I said, no guaranteed autos in this product, but you can pull uh, numbered to 25s and you can pull one of ones. So there's not a lot of numbered parallels. Those are the only ones that I saw on the checklist. Um, out of 25s are black foils and one of ones are foil fractors. So obviously if you pull one of those, you know, you're incredibly lucky because they are hard to pull. Uh, in total, you're gonna get 18 packs and eight cards per pack. Now, the reason the price point is so low is obviously you don't get any guaranteed, it's it's obviously very hard to pull numbered cards and you don't get any guaranteed autos, so it's gonna be mostly base. So not everybody's cup of tea, but I figured I'd give a shot uh, at this product. I, I did open some retail last year. It's kind of fun. Uh, retail, just like hobby, is a lot of base. Um, you can pull autographs in here though, so we'll hope to get one of those. Um, but yeah, guys, let's get into this new product. And as always, guys, if you do enjoy the video, I'd appreciate some support. Maybe a like, comment, sub. Let me know, as always, guys, as well, if you do rep any of this product, let me know what you think about it. And uh, let me know if you pull anything cool. Come on now. There we go. All right, y'all. Let's get after it. So like I said, lots of base cards in here. So we'll, we'll uh, go through the first pack, take a look at the new cards, and then we'll kind of go a little faster through the base after that. So this is gonna be the base. We've got Tyler Stevenson. Here's the front, here's the back. Let me know what you guys think. Super basic design as expected. But here we go. Got Melendez, there's our first rookie, Garrett Mitchell. And there's our first insert. It's a Nolan Gorman. It's a cool looking insert, I like that. Definitely a fan of that. There's our first foil. These are gonna be the uncommon base foils. We got a Sandy. There's a Alec Bohm, Max Freed. All right guys, so let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about the base. I think it's okay. It's super basic as expected. It's really nothing special. It just is what it is. <laughs> Jonathan Aranda got Oswaldo Cabrera. It's a good one. Kyle Stowers, do we have our blue in here? Maybe not. Juan Soto, City Slickers, it's pretty cool. I do like these inserts, I will say. They're really nice. Correa is our next foil. Got a Wally the Green Monster, we should get two of those in total. Carrasco and Dalton Varsho. We should have one more of those mascot inserts. Not really the most exciting thing, but hey, I'll take a Philly fanatic. <laughs> There's Paguero, Alec Thomas, Luis Castillo. We've got a Hello Clemente. Roll call. Another cool looking insert. I can get down with these inserts. I don't know. What do you guys think? I could definitely get down with those. I like them. A Wilson Contreras on our next foil. Mookie Betts. Josh Naylor, and Tyler Anderson.
Got Jonathan India, Kyle Wright, Willie Adames. There's another City Slickers. It's Mike Yastrzemski this time. Here's our next foil. It's going to be Joe Musgrove. Where are the rookie foils at? There's Lance Lynn, Tatis Jr., McNeil. I can't wait to see Tatis Jr. come back, man. He's just exciting. He's exciting to watch. He's good for the game of baseball. I don't care about the PEDs. <laughs> Glaber Torres, Kevin Gosman, Tyler Glasnow. Hey, that's a cool one. 8-Bit Ballers, Mookie Betts. That's another cool insert. I like these. You get, I think, like four of those guaranteed. There's a Matt Olson foil, Brady Singer, Alex Verdugo, and Jared Kelnick. Curious to see how Kelnick does this year. Oh, my poet, my pile's falling everywhere. Curious to see how uh, Kelnick does this year, though. I feel like this is going to be his last shot to prove that he is all that he was cracked up to be. Three Scooball. Taylor Ward. There's another insert. O'Neill Cruz this time. Does this have a name? I'm not sure. It is cool, though. Carlos Rodon. Oh, we got an autograph. Hey, let's go, guys. It's going to be opening act Davis Martin rookie autograph out of 99. Nice. So we do end up pulling an auto. Not too shabby. I don't know Davis Martin, but I'm honestly happy we just pulled the auto. Because that, as I said before, guys, that's not guaranteed. So pulling the auto is uh, pretty lucky. Patrick Wisdom, Ian Anderson, and Tommy Edmond. Hopefully, that's just a glimpse of what we have in store. All right. Will Smith, Tristan McKenzie, Duran. Got a City Slickers Mike Trout. Very nice. Our next foil is Ryan Mountcastle, Giolito, LeMayhew, and Judge. We're not getting many rookies. That's the first thing I'm noticing. We're not getting many rookies. There's one. We got James Altman, Travis Swaggerty, Drew Waters. As soon as I say it, we get three in a row. I got to talk more. Hello, my name is Soto. That's another cool one. Shane Bieber is our next foil. Acuna Jr., Gonsolin, and Javier. All right. About halfway through, we got Schwarber, Marcus Stroman, 8-Bit Ballers, pool holes. I like it. Our next foil. Finally got a rookie foil. It's Ken Waldachuk. Here's our rare blue. We get Joey Votto. Not a bad one to get. I'll take the Votto. I think that's the rare blue. Should be. I'll put them on a stand. Just because they named it rare. <laughs> Fix that. There we go. Logan Webb, Castellanos, Josiah Gray. All right, we got Sonny Gray, Stephen Kwan, Seiya Suzuki. Our next insert is going to be Bo Jackson. That's cool. And then our next foil is Giancarlo Stanton. Hey, I got, guys, I was talking about it. The next uh, mascot I wanted was Philly Fanatic. That's cool. Connor Joe and Jose Siri. I'm so happy we, get, we just got that. <laughs> I mean, nothing exciting for anyone else, but I think it's kind of cool. All right. Reed Detmers. We got rookie Josh Smith. Tyler Freeman. That's cool. Bobby Witt Jr., 8-Bit Ballers. Got Ozzy Albies on the foil. Evan Longoria, Juan Soto, and Masataka Yoshida. That's This is the first time I'm seeing a Masataka Yoshida rookie card. That's pretty exciting to see. That is pretty cool. It's always exciting the first time you pull a new rookie. Matt Chapman, he wasn't in uh, Series 1. 
There's Juan Soto, another cool looking insert. Spencer Strider on the next foil. You got Otani, Kenley Jansen, and Cindergaard. All right, Strasburg, Kopech, Renfro. We got City Slickers, Jordan Alvarez. And then become a big leaguer. That's the scratch off. So we'll put that to the side. We got Jazz Chisholm Jr. on the foil. Severino and Cal Rally. Five packs left. Let's see if we got anything else left in the tank. Brian Reynolds, Chris Sale, Mackenzie Gore. Another Hello My Name Is. That's a Brett Beatty. That is awesome. Very nice. I like the colors on it. I mean, I hate the Mets, but like, I can't lie. That's a really cool looking card. Hey, we finally got a foil. Oh, wait, we did get another rookie, but actually a decent one. Matthew Liberator. That's a good one. Benintendi, CJ Crone, and Eric Hosmer. I'd love to pull one of the top rookies in a foil. Little help here, Tops. Joe Ryan, we got Sturry Riaz, Ruiz, I mean, Jeter Downs rookie, 8-Bit Ballers Shohei Otani, Ezekiel Tovar, that's a decent foil, Luis Arias, Mark Canna, and Miles Mikolas. Down to our final three, let me know what you guys think about this product down in the comments section. Sean Manaya, Adam Wainwright, Brandon Lowe. Another insert of Luis Robert, or sorry, Robert. Kyle Tucker foil, Gene Segura, Kyle Lewis, and Whit Merrifield. It's tough to see Gene Segura in a Marlins uniform. I loved him in Philly. Overall, guys, um, my opinion on this product, I think it's well worth the money. 50 bucks, you really can't lose with a hobby box for 50 bucks. I mean, you're going to pull some cool inserts. Some newer rookie cards in here. There's a Pena foil. You get 18 foils. Blackman, Voigt, and Hendricks. And then you get the one rare blue. You do have a chance to pull autographs. Obviously, as you guys can see there, we pulled one. Not the best auto in the world, but we still pulled an auto in a product that doesn't guarantee it. Wow, that's a new one. Mookie Betts <laughs> on the bowling pins. And then we got a DL Hall. That's a cool foil. Cedric Mullins, Brandon Nimmo, and Brandon Woodruff. So, you guys, as I said, let me know what you guys think. We got a decent pile here of cool inserts, rookies, parallels. Some pretty good stuff in here. There was a, We pulled a Masataka Yoshida right there. The inserts are sweet. Like, look at that. 8-Bit Ballers. The Bobby Witt Jr. I mean, that's cool. Definitely some cool stuff in here. It's like I said, it's not for everyone, but uh, I don't know. I I don't I don't I think it's worth a shot. That's a cool insert. I forgot about that one. I think it's worth a shot if uh, you guys are intrigued by it. Definitely go for it. I think it's worth the money at fifty bucks. Obviously, these cards won't resell for a ton, but like I said, you can't you cannot lose at fifty bucks. I mean, there's just no way. Um, so yeah. As I said, guys, let me know in the comment section what you think. I do appreciate everyone for tuning in, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.